What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Neo stock, what you should be watching for moving forward. I'm also going to talk about SPY, the QQQ, and many tickers out there. Break down some very important technicals on them and then talk about what you should be watching for tomorrow as it's going to be a very big day for the market as we have NVIDIA's earnings. Before I break anything down all this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things real quick. I'm personally not a financial planner, so take none of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo, the link down below and deposit 100 bucks into the account, you're guaranteed five free stocks plus a $50 cash reward. The offer ends in just about nine days, so check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. All right, so Neo is down 1.46% for the day. A very, very minor drop actually hitting the low from yesterday and still forming this bullish divergence, which suggests that there could be a bounce coming. However, I just want to be open-minded with this and then let everyone know that it's going to depend on NVIDIA for tomorrow. If NVIDIA tries to bounce or not, that's going to dictate this market. And if the opposite happens, we might see something very different as well. But Neo is showing signs that's trying to bottom around this 10.5 area. And there could be like a double bottom like formation forming for it to try to get another bounce. But here's the thing about this. I can't promise anything about a bounce for the later days starting on Thursday because tomorrow, okay, after the market closes, we have NVIDIA's earnings. If NVIDIA ends up doing well and earn uh, and their, um, uh, their guidance is very, very strong, we could see NVIDIA just try to continue pushing, which could push the market higher for Thursday and beyond. Now, for Friday, we also have Jerome Powell giving a speech that could also change everything, but I just want to make that as clear as possible. At the same time with NVIDIA, we could see something very, very big develop. If this thing ends up sinking, if NVIDIA crashes after earnings, the market's going to come down and this could drag NEO down as well. So we have to be open-minded for after what's going to happen for Thursday, and it's going to be dictated by Wednesday, which is tomorrow, after the market closes. So it's going to be a very, very big day. We have to be ready for this. Now, to add on to this, we have the PMI report coming out tomorrow morning. There's going to be nothing too massive except for PMI. PMI and also some new home sales data for the first 15 to 30 minutes. So expect some volatility. As far as NEO goes, the news is talking about how photos have emerged of NEO's new mass market Alps, the EV competitor to Toyota and VW. And there are talks about this new... Uh, overall brand that could be very very big for neo this is designed to take neo mainstream positioning itself to actually take on toyota and vw and other mass market companies there's a possibility that this could be very very big and william lee bin said during their earnings call they're going to be entering the mass market with a new brand he actually said this so there's a possibility this could be it right over here if that's the case that's going to be good for them. If not, I don't know for sure about this. But one thing I do know is that the ES6, the second gen, is doing very, very well. And I'm very excited about this. Very, very excited for the new model. And I think that this is still going to be big for them anyways. They're going to be using the new NT Platform 3.0 technology, which is going to help them continue to grow, use more advanced features, and potentially help them improve their other brands as well. If they do have... Uh, the Alps brand, if they continue to grow it, if these new pictures of it are basically real, that could help them sell 50,000 units per month with one model. So Alps could be what's next for them. Very, very competitive brand, and it's going to be very cool for them moving forward, but we don't really have the true specs of it out just yet. They, they could be planning uh, this new EV brand by the second half of 2024. That's going to help them improve their deliveries, and that could be very awesome for them. So we're just going to wait and see if this is the case. Uh, we don't know for sure if this is it. I mean, I'm just trying to tell you guys there's no guarantees, but it could be it. There are talks about this. This would be a very bullish for 2024 for NEO moving forward. To add on to this, the NEO ET5T extends the possibilities. You can see right over here it looks very, very nice, very, very uh, great-looking, sleek design. And I can't wait for what the future holds for that as well. From a technical standpoint... Neo got a buy rating from Deutsche Bank just about 12 days ago. And since then, we're not really getting too many of these ratings. The price pairs ratio is still a little bit down as Neo has been underperforming, but it's looking like it's trying to base right here. If it does try to bounce a little bit, that could be a good sign. It's not dropping as hard in the last two days. 
On top of this, we tend to be green about 56% of the time on Wednesdays. So Wednesdays tend to be stronger days for NEO historically. Let's hope we get some decent price action. And finally, despite the short interest going up to about 15.44 million shares shorted just a few days ago, NEO is still trying to base around 10.5. The volume of the day was 43 million, so a little bit less than usual. But remember, NEO is not crashing on high volume. The volume is relatively low. It's only down 1%. Okay, so it's showing signs that it wants to base. It's trying to see some bulls stepping in. Buyers are coming back around this $10 area. And they like 10.5. They like buying it right here. So it's a good sign for the company. From a technical standpoint, there's a bullish divergence developing, meaning there could be a bounce coming soon. However, it's going to depend on the market and NVIDIA's earnings. My gut tells me for tomorrow, we might see Neil make an attempt to get back to about $11, 11.15 or so, and try to fill this imbalance up here around 11.32, and then just trade sideways from there into the 11s. But then after that, it all depends on NVIDIA's earnings. So I don't know if Neil is going to ultimately get another rug pull to still develop this bullish divergence. The, the divergence could still be developing, so we don't know if it's going to lead to a true trend reversal, but it is trying to base at 10.5. So we could see something where it tries to bounce a little bit, comes right back down, depending on NVIDIA's earnings, and then we're going to see some high volatility on Thursday, depending on what happens. But that's what I'm seeing for now. If it breaks below 10.5, you're going to be watching 10.25. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm leaning more in the direction of it trying to bounce based off this bullish divergence. So I think 11.3 could be tested. And then lots of sideways price action around 11 is what I'm predicting for tomorrow for NEO. For SPY, it's a little bit harder to read because, you know, there are two interpretations of this. There's a nice inverse head and shoulder structure. But at the same time, it's not looking that strong. We actually got this big red bar today. Uh, in my opinion, looking at SPY, it depends on which levels we break. If we break below 437.5, we have the potential to come down to the 435s. If we bounce and try to hold around this range and we break above 439, then I could see it pushing up to this imbalance around this 441 area. It could go either way. There is a possibility this is like an inverse head and shoulders and this thing can always bounce. But always be open minded and see which way we break. Do we break below 437.5 or do we try to break above and hold 439? That's going to dictate which way we go. And it's also going to be dictated by NVIDIA. For NVIDIA, we're going to be watching, could this thing bounce off this 450 zone? Does it try to get one last push up approaching its earnings and try to get back to like the 470s? Or does this thing end up just continuing to sink and sink all the way down below 450 to retest 446? There are times where it sinks before earnings. I know that, but it all depends on what happens this time around. It's looking a little bit weaker on the four hour time frame, but always be open minded because it's approaching this support right here. In my opinion, it looks like it may try to base right here, but we have to watch it carefully approaching its earnings. And then after earnings come out, who knows where it's going to go. If we get this big move to the upside, the market could start pushing for a Thursday. If not, the opposite could happen. So be open-minded nonetheless. Apple is trying to hold up so far. It's actually just chopping around a bit. We're going to be watching to see if it can try to get above 178. If it manages to do so, it could still be in this inverse head and shoulder structure. If not, if it fails to do so, then we're going, to be, we're going to be watching it break below 176. If that breaks, we could be seeing it uh, drop all the way down to like the 175s or, so, or even lower than that. We're going to just be watching this very, very carefully just to be safe. For now, it's looking quite decent. looks more bullish than bearish so far, so that could be a good sign for the markets. We want to see NVIDIA follow up with that to help this thing continue to push. So with that said, the last one I'm going to talk about before I talk about Neo again is Tesla. If Tesla could break and hold above 235, it could retest 238 and 240 and get its way back up to 240. If it ends up breaking below 230, that's going to be a bearish signal and it could come down to about 225 and 221. What seems more probable, it's kind of in the middle right now between support and resistance going back and forth and back and forth. It did come down after hitting 241.5. It looks like it may try to bounce try to get back to about this 238 plus area, but just to be safe, let's see which way it holds and which way it goes just for confirmation. It's best just watch this just for safety as we are kind of sandwiched between these EMAs. And once we see the direction it breaks, and that's going to give us a much better amount of information. So with that said, uh, we're going to be watching NEO tomorrow. We're going to be seeing, does it start pushing a little bit thanks to NVIDIA? It might try to push its way back up to 11.3. That's the most probable outcome. And then just to be safe, however, we're going to just see how NVIDIA affects the market. And then when it comes to NVIDIA stock, there's also the possibility of this thing making a big move after the market closes tomorrow. That's going to cause some more volatility, so watch that very, very carefully. 
With that said, I just want to thank you all so much for listening. Have a great day. Remain calm, cool, and collected, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Neo to the moon as the long term is still incredibly bright. And peace out.